next up on stage, I want a nice warm welcome for Sir Ed Davey, MP, please. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Friends, when we argue the case against Brexit and for Europe, we use our minds, we use reason, we use argument. But I have to confess, since that referendum, my mind's often been overwhelmed by my heart, by my emotions. I don't know about you, but I've gone from anger to distress, from fury to despair. But since the Brexit negotiations began, there's a third emotion I've been feeling. Embarrassment. <laughs> Embarrassment at our country's leaders. Embarrassment for Great, great Britain. That people like Liam Fox, like Boris Johnson, like David Davis, that these shambolic people are, lead, are supposed to be representing us. They can't even negotiate. So that's why I want to thank you for coming out today. We will keep coming out to make our voice heard. But I also personally want to thank Conservative Remainers and Labour Remainers who in Kingston and Surbiton voted for me as a Liberal Democrat so I can speak against Brexit and I can vote against Brexit. But I have two main messages for you today. The first is that what we are doing is even more important than you think. And I want to explain why. And my second mes message, challengingly, is that it's going to be even more difficult than you might fear. First, why is it even more important? Well, because it's not just about Brexit, the EU, the single market, the customs union. It's about what country we want to be. It's about our principles. It's about progressive politics. It's about liberal values. I never thought they would be under such threat. But when you've seen the division and the intolerance in that, since that referendum vote, when you see the reactionary political forces who are behind Brexit, who don't believe in climate change, who don't believe in social justice, you know that this is a fight Yes, to stay in Europe, but for all those values that we all care about. That's how important it is. But you know, it's even more important than that. Because the forces of xenophobic nationalism aren't just here in the UK. They're in a number of European countries. And of course, in Donald Trump, they're even in North America. So we are part of a global movement, global citizens saying our freedoms, our liberalism, our progressive values are under threat. And we need to work, yes, across parties in our country, but we need to work to, uh, with others across the world to stop this rise of xenophobic populist nationalism. It's so important. But it's actually going to be incredibly difficult. The parliamentary arithmetic is not in our favour. There is so much against us in the media and elsewhere. But if we're going to think ahead, maybe several years ahead, preparing for a referendum on the deal if we can get it, preparing for the fight ahead on so many issues, we have to reach across the divide. We need to bring our country together. We need to be a unifying force. And that means, friends, we need to listen to the other side, to people who were on the other side. We need to understand where they're coming from. We need to reach out. And that will not be easy as we do it in our communities, our towns and our cities and the countryside. But we have to do it 
if we're going to win, and win in a way which reunites our country, heals the wounds. Amongst the millions of Leave voters, the vast majority are good people. They are kind people. They are our people. So we need to reach out and bring them together. And if we do, we can exit from Brexit. So thank you for coming. Thank you for what you're going to do in the weeks, months, and years ahead as we challenge and fight for our values and for this important cause. Keep going. Thank you very much. Good stuff. Thank you, sir.